true. Several am really coming. Well, that's what it says. Not my type, really. Too flashy. You see, I don't think that these celebrities know what men really like. <laughs> <laughs> Why not show him my arrest technique? Who wants to be arrested? Miss Haydock, you look quite guilty. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> come on, are you going to come quietly or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> what, Miss? Fine. Hey. <laughs> As you can all see, we've got a particularly dangerous suspect here. No, you'd be surprised. On a Saturday night, it's the girls you've got to look out for, not the fellas. Ah, two right there. <laughs> Especially when they've had a skinful as well. Well, that would hardly be me. <laughs> In that case, obviously, I'd have to physically restrain her. No, 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 it's not actually about hitting or harming. In fact, it's more about stopping them from harming themselves and, obviously, other people. Are you ready? I suppose so. OK, well, go to hit me. OK. Stephanie Haydock, I'm arresting you for teaching French without due care and attention. <laughs> I, um, I'll tell you what, how do you fancy a guided tour of the school? I bet it's changed loads since you were last year. Yeah, I'd love to have a look around the old place. As long as you don't mind leading the way, Miss Haydock. <laughs> my first day here, I was petrified. Everybody was bigger than me. I find that hard to believe. You really don't remember me, do you? I do. It's j No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's just so many of you. Well, let me refresh your memory. Shaw R. Sutherland. Oh, my God! You were, you were tiny. Oh, little Peter Sutherland. Oh. Don't think anyone's coming, Pete. Well, let's give him another five minutes. You'll have to face it. You've been upstaged by somebody new and shiny. Maybe. Don't worry, it happens to us all. <laughs> yeah, well, it shouldn't. Older the berry, sweeter the wine. That's what I say. I, am. Um, I should go and check on the other guests. <laughs> oh, that'll be fine. OK. If you say so. Well, nothing serious as in a let's go down the aisle together, but um, me and the previous headmaster, Jack, Jack Rimmer, we had um, a thing going on for quite a long time. Years, in fact. And what happened? He, um... Well... He was, um... Too clingy. I want to know who used to pop your cork. I bet, right, Tracy Draper was your type. <laughs> no. OK. Gillian Howison? No. Mm. You were my funniest woman, actually. <laughs> Probably your worst nightmare these days. No, no, you've still got it going on, Miss Haydock. Well, you certainly have a way with words, Pete. Look, <clears throat> would it be weird if I were to say, ask you out? Yeah. Yeah, it would be weird. Oh, uh, OK. But as I happen to like weird, you can pick me up after school. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 Pete. <laughs> Obviously, I don't normally do anything like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad you're making an exception for me, Miss Haydock. Mm. Stephanie. <laughs> what? Well, I think all things considering, you could call me by my first name. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Why don't we go back to your place? Um, what? What's the problem? Nothing. Hey, hey, hang on a minute. You little liar. You're married, aren't you? N no, absolutely not. Well, what were we waiting for? It's a small problem, my mum and dad. Steph. It's, um, it's Miss Haydock to you. It's fine by me. Look, I don't want to be part of your naughty schoolboy fantasy.